What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode three of GLG's The Return. I'm testing Hoopa Unbound. Kind of went on like a, a little bit of a weird. I, I recorded a few matches uh, a second ago that I was thinking of uploading until the people in the chat started kind of dropping f bombs and stuff like that. And I don't know, like I'm really big about sportsmanship, you know. And I, I don't get why people gotta gotta talk smack and all that but today is my only day off so i'm trying to record three videos here so i'm gonna go for one more here this is my hoopa unbound team with a choice banded hoopa got three trickers um still really low ladder uh low 1300s at the moment and um just hoping that uh hoping i get some sportsman sportsmanship going on here instead of always fighting against really horrible people uh we've got this is a cool team Two very serious setup potentials. This could be a Mega going for Calm Mindset. This could be a Mega. This is the more likely Mega just because I'm. if it's not, I'm not really that scared of it. Potential lead options. We've got two Fake Out users. Uh, rocks? Not really anywhere. It could have um, Poison. To toxic Spikes, sorry, on this guy if he's opting to be that kind of Cloyster. Uh, but regardless, I'm pretty sure Sudzy is my best lead here. As I can get a burn off on a couple of these guys, namely you and you. Who, I don't see either of these guys running scarfs. They could, but it is going to be Ambipom. We're going to see a fake out here. Let's go for that Willow anyway. Let him give me the fake out, that's fine. I'd love to spread some burn on this guy's team. He actually didn't go for the fake out right away, he instead went for the knockoff. I'm gonna lose my scarf. And uh, we don't actually see what he's got, but let's steal whatever it is. He's gonna go for double hit and hit me twice. And I'm going to steal his silk scarf. So he's actually gonna hit me for a lot less now. Let's go into... Um let's go into hype here. As he goes for double hit, which is not going to affect me. Now, I imagine he's max speed, so he's probably going to go for a knockoff here. So I'm going to go into bay. You can take that just fine. There's the knockoff. And now I can go for a mega evo, and I could fake out here to try and get a little bit of extra... Or I could just go for the return outright, because I'm predicting Slowbro to come in here. But if I'm predicting Slowbro, why don't I just switch out into Sudzy? Yeah, let's switch out into Sudzy. No, he's gonna U-turn. I could have killed him with a- Oh, man. I did not see that coming. Who's he going into? Superior. Now that I've lost my Scarf, he will outspeed me, unfortunately. But the Leaf Storm has got nothing on Heatran DMC, I'm not going to say. He's going to Leech Seed. This guy's making some big plays right now, and I'm very impressed. Too dangerous for him to stay in here. I'm going to go for Stealth Rock as he switches into Ambipalm to try and get a little bit extra health back. Um... U-turn, knockoff, and double hit is what we've seen. Let's switch back into Bay here. There's the knockoff again. This time, I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to hit Drain Punch. And he's going to stay in, and he's going to outspeed and go for the U-turn. I forgot that until... Why didn't I fake out? Slowbro comes in. Shoot, why didn't I fake out? That was so dumb of me. That did 14. Um, I'm predicting a Scald here. So as you could take that okay, but I don't want to be repetitively switching in against that. The question is whether or not... So if this weren't resisted, that would have done 28%. And return is about... 33% stronger. Can I kill him in two hits with a return? Let's find out. No, let's not. 
because then I can't switch in on the knockoffs anymore or anything like that. Um, let's go into Sudzy here. He's going to go for the Scald. Hopefully no burn. He does not get the burn. Um... He doesn't have a ground type, so I'm just going to click Volt Switch here. He's going to stay in. It doesn't kill him. But... So that means he's probably going for another Scald, or maybe he's going for a recovery move. I'm going to go into Boundless here. Boundaries. He's going to go for Psychic. Interesting. That worked out well for me. Uh, does he have any resists at all for this? I don't think so. So Hyperspace Fury is going to kill something. Now, Ambipom's the likely switch in here to go straight for the U-turn. Because we know he's going to outspeed. And it's four times super effective against Hoopa Unbound. I've whittled a lot of my Pokemon down just to get only one of his, which is not very good for me. Um, Leech Seed on the Heatran, probably. Let's go for Hyperspace Fury. If he does opt to go for the... He does go for the Leech Seed and he misses, but that's useless for him anyway. I think he was predicting the Heatran switch in. Heatran's a very good switch for him. Medicham. Uh, fighting type move. He's likely to outspeed me. It's a possible Mega. Fighting type is very good against this team. Psychic is also very good against Gengar. He won't go for Psychic. He could go for like a knockoff, but I think it's more likely he's going to go for a physical move here. Or, or, sorry, like a nor- Either Fake Out, maybe if he's Mega. Or some weird shenanigans with a uh, fighting type. I just, I don't see him going for a psychic type. I'm going to switch in hype here. He is mega, and he's going to go for the fake out. So now, uh, I should still outspeed him. And I can hit him with a shadow ball, super effective. Uh, he could switch into the ambipom here. Which I could predict and just go for the sludge bomb. Could go for the Sludge Bomb, but it's probably too risky to not go for Shadow Ball here. But I really think he's going to switch. I really think he's going to switch. Sludge Bomb. No, he stays in. Shoot, and I don't quite kill him as he goes for the Zen Headbutt and takes me out. Bad luck me, but Bay's going to come in and this Metacham is either going to have to switch out or die. I do outspeed him, so I'm actually just going to go for the Drain Punch here, and he's going to let himself go down. So Mega Medicham down, got Manectric here, Cloyster comes in. Uh, so I'm not worried about him being Focus Sash set up. I could just go for the Drain Punch here, he could go straight away for the Skill Linked uh, Icicle Spear. He could do that. I'm going to go for the Drain Punch here, and just... Ooh, he lives it. He does go for the Shell Smash. Let's see if he's... He does go for the Shell Smash. So, um... We could sack the Sudzy and then come back in with Bay and just fake out this guy. So I think we'll do that. We'll sacrifice the Sudzy as he goes for Ice School Spear and takes me out. Now Bay comes back in, guarantees the outspeed with the fake out. And Cloyster goes down. So we're playing around this. He's got a lot of setup potential on this team, but he's not using it to his greatest uh, success. This guy's probably Choice Scarfed. Um, because Lightning Rod Choice Scarf would make me uh, regular Manectric almost as good as a Mega Manectric if he's predicting some kind of electric shenanigans. Which he could have taken advantage of with Sudzy, but for now, if he's static, that would be unfortunate, but not the end of the world. I'm going to go for a Drain Punch. He's actually not Scarfed. Uh, he's going to go for a Flamethrower. I guess hoping for the burn. He's actually going to forfeit. I guess he was really hoping for the burn there. So that's a win for, that's a win for me. I would have gone for another 
uh, fighting type move there and win whether I died or not I could come in with El Luchador against the burned and the palm after Bay went down and kill him with an ice shard so that was game let's look for one more I think we can get two battles in on this we've got a uh, oh, this is a tough team mega low punny magna zone here looking to trap I don't I don't really know for whom. No one here is particularly afraid of steel. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's an analytic one instead. This is probably just a regular to try and get some fast burns off. And we've got a Sudzy there. This is a potential, like, rocker lead. I think his only rocks on the team. So I'm actually going to lead with Sudzy because I really like Sudzy as my answer to Lander Asterians. Sudzy does pretty well to a, a good amount of his team, and being Scarfed I can ensure that I outspeed a lot of them, including the Mega Lopunny actually. So this is one instance where the trick is uh, is not advisable for me. It's not a good idea for me to go for trick. Darmanitan as the, as the lead option here. Um, I think I just, I kind of just want to pop off some Hydros. If he's max speed scarfed, he will outspeed me, but then what's he going to do with that? So I'm just going to go for the Hydro here. Uh, he is going to go for the U-turn, that means he's probably going to bring in the Rotom. So we learned something, we learned he's scarfed. If he's smart, he'll bring in Rotom. I mean, it's just, it's the logical play. Low Punny is a problem, guys. P.R. Blem. I wouldn't actually mind if he went into Low Punny and took right to the face a Hydro. Okay, he's taking what can only be defined as forever to make a turn. And he eventually goes into low punny. Okay, and I missed the... <sighs> hmm, okay. Stupid. So stupid. Let's go for another one. Two misses! Okay, done. If I don't win the speed tie, I gotta fake out first to ensure that we force the same speed when we go for the speed tie. So dumb. He could switch into Landorus Therian. Landorus Therian's a good switch into Bay. Today's not my day. So he stayed in, so he thinks that he's gonna be as fast as me. We're both max speed. Let's see who wins the speed tie. Hopefully it's me. Let's see. Come on, Bay. And I do win the speed tie and his low punny goes down. So I'm still <laughs> still mad about the misses. Only because I mean I've been playing a lot today and I've seen a lot more misses than I think I should have. Like my focus blast I mean I know focus blast is only 70% accuracy, but still way Way, way, way too many misses here. Um, U-turn, Flare Blitz, Earthquake. U-turn, Flare Blitz, Earthquake. What's he gonna go for? He might have a fighting type stab, or not stab, coverage. I get called out on saying that so much. It's a slip of the tongue, guys. If I hear one more person say it, I'm deleting your comment and banning you from the comment section. I'm so tired of hearing it. I really think he's going to go for a U-turn. I don't think he's going to go for an Earthquake, but I am pretty sure he has Earthquake. Unfortunately, losing... I don't have anyone to outspeed him. He's going to outspeed it with everything here. He's going to be a real issue for me. I could do some weird shenanigans. I mean, I don't think he's going for Earthquake. He's going to lock himself into something else. Superpower! Wow, good play! My goodness! going to hype here he's locked into it um i think he'll double i think he'll double this darmanitan is going to be his win condition i mean before it was low punny but now it's darmanitan scarf darmanitan is a problem he is going to switch out into landorus landorus therian as i switch out into hype machine here and I'm just gonna pop off Shadow Ball. Click Shadow Ball, guys. Click Shadow Ball, guys. Doesn't quite kill him. Gets a special D drop as he goes for Stealth Rock. I've seen this scenario like three times today. 
Uh, let's either kill Landorus Therian or do a hefty amount of damage to anything else. Even the Magnazone isn't safe, bro. That's your only resist. Hype is going to put some hurt on your team. You have to decide. Because you lost Megalopunny. That was a big thing there. He's going to sack the Landorus Therian, rightfully so. And he's going to go into Darmanitan here. Magnazone. Because he thinks he can take one but not two. That makes sense. If you go into El Luchador, I don't really need him anymore. Yeah, let's do it. Because even if he goes for the um, the Flash Cannon, there's a chance I'll be able to do something about that. Uh, because I am Assault Vested. He's going to Volt Switch. Now, um, he does have a Rotom Wash with Levitate. Let's go for Knock Off here. He does switch into the Rotom, and I do hit him with that Levitate, and he's going to lose his Leftovers. Um, burn potentially coming. Heatran DMC can come in here. Probably not out. Well, he's defensive, it looks like. What do I do if I come in here? Even if I do outspeed, what do I do against a Rotom Wash? Um, stealth Rock to try and get extra damage on that Darmanitan. I do need rocks up. I really do. I don't want to get burned on boundaries either. Bay can heal Bell, but that's just kind of a waste for me to do that. Hype. I don't mind taking a burn, I don't mind getting Volt switched on, really. He does go for the Hydro. Luckily, I live just barely. Just freaking barely. Let's go for a Shadow... Just click Shadow Ball, guys. That's what you do with Gengar. You just click Shadow Ball. I, I have to stay in here, and I need to pick a move that is relatively well balanced to take on everyone. Uh, I can't come out because rocks are on the field and there's no way for me to survive the incoming. He's thinking about who he needs here. Does he need the Rotom Wash? If he loses the Rotom Wash, I can click EQ on, on my boy Mamoswine here. Magnazone. Uh, I don't believe we saw with the balloon. I'm pretty sure we didn't. Think long and hard, my friend. Think long and and hard. <laughs> he's gonna sack the Rotom Wash. Uh, he's gonna come in with Darmanitan, probably. Go for that U-turn. It's my Predicciones. He does go for the U-turn. I'm gonna be able to see who he comes in with here and play accordingly. Um, I still have Hoopa, so if he goes into Sableye, Hoopa's coming in. He goes into Magnazone. I think I could just come in here and click Drain Punch. Because it's going to hit Sableye super effective. The Ghost type is negated by Scrappy, and he's just left as a Dark type Pokemon. It should do a lot of damage to Magnazone, though it might not kill. He is pretty defensive, surprisingly so. I could just come in here and click Earthquake. Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep Bay healthy for now. Let's come in here and click Earthquake. It's likely he'll outspeed me, but he certainly won't kill me, even if he does pack Flash Cannon. Although he is really effing strong. He's really, really strong. Maybe this is a mistake. But if it is, then, I mean, a Luchador doesn't really do a whole much else. Like, maybe it kills Sableye. So, really, my best bet here is hoping that this is a, like, kind of defensive Magnazone or something. He does have Flash Cannon. I do live it. I do get the special D drop, but I am going to take out the Magnazone with a crit that didn't matter. We see that he's analytic. No, not analytic. Not, just not sturdy. That's it. Uh, let's get some damage on this Darmanitan. Not a lot, but not zero as he goes for the U-turn again into Sableye. Darmanitan's gonna have to pick a type to get locked into. I'm thinking it's gonna be Superpower, because otherwise if it's Fire-type, I'm, I'm good. If it's Bug-type, you can't win. So I think I'm, I think I'm set here. This Sableye um, is probably gonna go for a burn on me. But I'm still going to click Hyperspace Fury. 
Because if he goes for like a burn recover shenanigans, I, st uh, I still think I can take him on. He is going to go for the burn. Can I still kill him? I can't. He can just recover stall me to death. That's unfortunate. Shoot. Let's go bay. And uh, let's drain punch rather than fake out here on the anticipated willow. There's the willow. It might still do enough. No, it's even less actually. As he's going to go for recover as I go for heal bell. And so <laughs> this is going to be a really weird game of hoping that he runs out of recover. One thing we could do is after this heal bell goes off, predicting the next... Why is he taking so long? Come on. Predicting the next Willow, we could go into uh, Heatran. And then see if we can do something about that. He is going to go for the recover, as I am going to go for the heal bell and get rid of those burns. Now we're going to go into Heatran. As he does go for the Willow and activates Flash Fire. Uh, I could go for Stealth Rock here if Darmantan's gonna play some shenanigans. I could go for the Earth Power if I really think he's gonna switch into Darmanitan. Do I think he would do that? No. He's gonna go for the Foul Play, I'm gonna live it. I'm gonna go for Lava Plume this time. Because with Flash Fire, if he'd st Oh, man. Earth Power did 54%. Uh, Recover is going to out-prioritize me. But I will outspeed him if he goes for Foul Play. So in order to kill me, he needs to take two attacks. The attack that comes after his Recover... Yeah. Luckily that Earth Power does does a two-hit KO even after Lefty. So he's actually going to stay in and he's going to die to the Lava Plume. And now he needs to pick a move. If it's Super Power, then I think I can win by going... Heatran... Sacking Heatran to the Super Power. Coming in with Mega Lopunny, Fake Out. Sacking Hoopa to the superpower, coming with Mega Lopunny, fake out. I think I can win that way. So let's see what he opts to go for. Does he have Earthquake? If he has Earthquake, he might win. I'm curious, what's his fourth? I mean, he's got Flare Blitz. There's just no way he's going for it. I'm so curious. This actually ended up being a really good match. He is going to go for the superpower. So he's going to lose his attack and his defense here. Uh, Bay's going to come in. This was such a close match. I really enjoyed this a lot. Then switch into boundaries as he goes for superpower again. It doesn't actually even kill me. I really anticipated he would kill me, but he didn't. He did not. Hyperspace Furies, he goes for Superpower, that time he kills me, but now his defense is so low that I can guarantee the 1-0 victory with Bay. This ended up being a really interesting battle. I know I played a little iffy on some of that, and it did come down to a speed tie, um, but still, that was really fun. GG. Fun battle. So, and, uh, and I'm going to leave it at that, guys, because I'm running out of time. i got to edit these and put these up. Um, I have plans later tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is going to be the last of the Hoopa Unbound testing. Um, maybe I'll try something a little different uh, for the next couple of episodes. Maybe I'll bring back Gym Leader, because I haven't done a gym in a while. And you know what? I'm high enough on the ladder that it's not going to be super ridiculous. Actually, you know, it'll be less fun than if I'm playing low ladder. As always, 
thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe or share with your friends. I'm still a little baby grown channel and uh, I promise that GBA videos will be back when the GBA is live. I might even do some uh, uh, private personal views on how the D League's going, guys. Uh, so as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.